probably the Liberals on the nose, is that Labor seems free to push the economy over the edge. I mean, today, Energy and Climate Change Minister Chris Bowen, a real global warming zealot, held a press conference to promote electric cars to save the planet. He said he wanted new emission standards on cars to encourage us to buy more electric ones instead. He made it sound like uh, you'd, be, you'd actually save money from this con. This is ultimately all about giving Australians better choices. Better choices of cars which are better for the climate and better to drive and more cost efficient. A petrol vehicle on average costs around $2,400 a year to drive. An electric vehicle costs around $400 a year to drive. Joining me is Nationals MP Matt Canavan, the former Resources Minister. Matt Canavan, always great to see you. Look, Chris Bone is such a used car salesman, almost literally now. Uh, you won't save That's money right. from an electric car, will you? Because first of all, you have to buy one and they cost plenty. Exactly right, Andrew. I mean, even on his own fingers. It, 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 I was just waiting for the grab there where he said, hey, what can I do to get you into a car today? <laughs> what do I need to do? I've got to get these <laughs> off the lot. Um, I mean, uh, on his own fingers, he reckons you save $2,000 a year. Some of these cars are twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 more expensive. Uh, than your than your average family car, so you're still looking at at, at ten to twenty to thirty years uh, to pay some of these cars off. Who's going to do that? And by the end of that ten year period for an electric car, the battery will be dead and it'll be completely worthless, just scrap metal. So I, I don't understand any of these figures. This is after, of course, we put massive amounts of tax incentives into. Uh, electric cars and now now apparently it's not enough it's not enough to but all our taxes going towards subsidizing rich people to buy electric cars and i've got nothing against electric cars go for your life if you want to i just don't think i should have to pay for your uh your, your preferences and now now they want to introduce effectively a new carbon tax even worse than a carbon tax because they're trying to say here what we'll do is we'll cap the amount of big cars of utes of rams uh, of four wheel drives, of uh, big family cars, they will be capped every year. And once that cap is met, they'll, you'll have to, you'll have no other choice but to buy the electric cars. They're going to force you and take away our freedom to buy our own cars. They're going to force us to buy the cars that Chris Bowen wants, not what your average family needs.